There's a special feature when using the select output and other blocks inside the AnyLogic library, which often confuses the most advanced users. If you're using process modeling blocks or um, pedestrian blocks, you've either already encountered this feature or you will. Hi, I'm Jakob Ben and welcome to the AnyLogic Modelers YouTube channel. Today we're going to look at one of the nuances of the select output that has confused many a modeler. So, let's look at the following simple setup. Imagine we've got a very simple pedestrian model where we've got pedestrians that move from point A to point B and after they've moved there we want them to choose a specific exit. Now what we're going to do is when they get when they want to exit we will save a random number between 0 and 4 to a specific variable, in, variable inside our pedestrian agent. So you can see we created a custom agent here called my agent with a variable exit number. So what we want to do is when they get to the select output, we're going to make them choose their exit number based on this variable inside the pedestrian. And to just double check our logic, we are also going to trace line the exit number, right? So we want to see what exit were they supposed to take and then we can see whether they actually took that exit. Okay, so if we play the model, our expectation is we're going to randomly have pedestrians exit out of all five the exits um, inside the model. I'm just going to speed it up a bit and we can see that all the pedestrians are exiting out of the first block, right? But if we look at our trace lines, we can see that we're actually sampling from each one of the supposed exits that we actually want to go. But why are the pedestrians only going to the first one? Now, there's a very slight nuance to how this is implemented and it's actually a feature, not a bug. When you exit out of the pedestrian block, right? your decision of where to go to next has already been made. Thus, this code that says on exit will actually be triggered once the pedestrian has already decided where to go next. So what this means is that we actually need to have this decision about where to go to being made either at the on enter or inside the select output. So let's go through some of the options how to resolve this. So we can either say that we want to add the op or make the decision of where to go to next on the on enter right if we, can, if we play it now we'll see that they now actually use up all the different select output blocks as you can see or what we can also do is instead of doing the selection here we do the selection inside the select output so we hit the play button here we can see that we'll now also get um, a relatively equal distribution here yeah, of where they're going to. And the last option in keeping our decision inside the on, at ec on exit code is simply to add in a very small insignificant delay. And for this specific example, you can actually choose a zero as well. And what this will do is that the pedestrian will actually exit the go to block um, and it knows it needs to go to the delay block, then your variable will be ass assigned and then it goes to the select output block. Um, but this is a bit of a hack, as you can see it is working. It is a bit of a hack because now we've got a delay block in there that doesn't actually delay anything. So it's not the best way to do this. Now, the benefit of using the process modeling library blocks is that most of them already have some code here that's called on at exit. So this code will be executed before the agent actually moves on to the next option. So it's saying the agent's ready to exit. Before we're going to make a decision of where to go, you can execute this code. Now, unfortunately, this option is not available in the pedestrian go to block. There's only an on exit code. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. If you like this video, please subscribe, hit the little bell to get notified of new videos or go and check out our other blog posts at the AnyLogicModeler.com. Thank you so much.